You're live. Turn around. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode. Northwoods Angling out here on the one and only Lake Superior fishing for channel catfish. A lot of, lot of current. You got one on? Well, he's got one on. He is hooked up. And we are bobber fishing for channel catfish today, guys. We are bobber fishing. We got a little mixture of some stink bait, but right now we're pretty much just using livers here. And we got bobbers out, and we're catching lots and lots, copious amounts of channel cats. And there are some big ones in this river system. And I'll show you, this is my good buddy, Darren Bruss here. Hey everybody. He is taking us in his boat today and we have the one and only Mr. Jason Rylander, clam pro staff, um, fishing entrepreneur, great looking gentleman. Nice and that channel. little channel cat's here. <laughs> oh, I got, I got other bobbers in the boat too today. Mr. Flores. Those bobbers are, uh, I was using it earlier, it was a little heavy for the bite out here. You want them to really rip it underwater and a lot of the channel cats are smaller. But I do got the Muddy River catfishing bobber in the boat today. Nathan Beasley, Whisker Sticks, what's going on? Brad, Brad, ooh. Got a fish on. He's tangled up. Got too excited. Really, uh, his bobber's gone. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> he is on it. He is on it. Nice little channel cat here. Good eater sized fish here. <laughs> that a boy real spotted looks like it might have a skin condition dermatitis I think is what that's called <laughs> that sun is rough looking your way uh, yeah he's got some darkness to him yeah real dark set it right in the corner of the mouth there with that wide gap J hook and it is a beautiful little croaker. Oh yeah, good colors on her. All right. And we're just, it's one after another, guys. One fish after another out here. And it is beautiful out. It's like 65 degrees. It's a great day to be catfishing. It's a great day to be catfishing. And there are big ones in here. Tom NKY, hook them. Dwayne Martins, what's going on? What a save. <laughs> Peter, he, he's, uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. We're just using slip sinker rigs, guys. Lisa Hill, what's going on, Lisa? Ah, Peter Scholl, Jonathan Scott Kanung, if I butchered your last name. Hey, Luke, it's John, John, Johan. Just wanted to stop by and say hi. I really enjoyed hanging out with you when you lived upstairs. Johan, I remember. John, tell everyone in your family I said hello and thank you for the $5 on the super chat. Used to live, I was in college in Grand Forks when I was fishing the Red River when I started catfishing. John lived upstairs with me. He was just a little kid back then, so thanks for the five spot. I appreciate it very much. James Dockery, Tight Lines, Chuck Winters, what's up fellas, Sean Raby. Where are you fishing? We are in, oh, he's got one going right here. Missed, him. missed it? Yeah, missed it. We are on the Horseshoe Chain of Lakes um, near Cold Spring, Minnesota, you guys. What's up, Mike? Bill Mueller? I want one of them poles. Me too. We're using lighter poles today. I'm just using my ug little old ugly stick. A lot of smaller cats, but Darren, my buddy Darren here, he did get a almost a 20 pounder the other day out here on Bobber. And they were drifting Bobber fishing in about eight feet of water. And this is really, um, 
This is Jason Rylander, guys. He is a uh, catfish expert in northern Minnesota. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a guide, aren't you, though, up north? Yeah. A guide for walleye. Walleye panfish. That's yep. what I specialize in. He uh, lives in Bemidji, Minnesota. He's a guide up there. And he's also known to sing a little bit on uh, on camera. Northwoods can't afford me. And he says he's too expensive, so. <laughs> I'll sing the tunes like I normally do. But we're just bobber fishing. I'll show you guys the rig we're using. Let me see what we got here. Thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. We're using chicken livers as bait right now. And we're using a slip rig. Let me uh, turn this around. It's just a little slip bobber rig here. And um, just a swivel and I have a mono leader on. Then a little chicken liver on there. And that's all she wrote. I'm gonna throw this out there. Let me uh, cast this out here. So that's what we're doing, just standard. Yeah, it is a great day on the water right now. Let me uh, throw this out real quick. Live shows are tough, guys. I need to get that. Oh my God. Hold this real quick, yep. bring that down. My bead is all stuck up in my, there we go. You're getting those out in that deeper water, huh? That deeper water. Setting about nine feet of water, guys. I'm just gonna throw mine out and I'm gonna show, throw it a little shallower. It looks cold, it's like 65 degrees, guys. So I just threw it out there, real simple. You wait for the bobber to go down and you really give her the onion. You really get after her. And there is a little current here. So, with that said, your bait, as long as you're not on the bottom and hung up, your bait's gonna naturally just kinda drift down with the current. And channel cats dig that. They dig that, so. That's what we're doing. I'm just kind of waiting for a bobber to go down. I got a couple now on camera. A couple more wouldn't hurt, let me tell you. I feel like I'm gonna cut one. We are not anchored, you guys. We're spot locked right now with the trolling motor, so he set it on, on anchor mode. And uh, it'll actually kind of hold you in the little area. And this one's a little older, so it'll keep you in about a 10 foot area probably. About 10 foot area. Uh, you guys have a great feed today, super clear. Pete, I'm glad it's clear. If I could ask you, Luke, as well as the crowd, who prefers Facebook Live versus YouTube Live? I technically prefer Facebook Live doing it, um, but content, you gotta get content on the YouTube, and I, I do enjoy YouTube Live too, so. First time I've seen Northwoods catch a fish on a live stream. <laughs> That's not true. I've caught fish on live streams. Well, maybe not. Maybe not on YouTube. Who knows? What's the biggest catch of the day so far? About a six, seven pound channel cat. And we, we're not out here targeting monster fish. We're using chicken livers, smaller bobbers. Typically I would be running Typically, I would be running this bobber for bigger catfish. Um, this is the uh, Muddy River catfishing bobber. And it's got a, a little clip on there, so you can actually... Can you record me real quick? Yeah. Uh, might, you might not be able to see it. I'm, I'm going to go back there and you come... Oh. Probably see pretty good now. So this is a little different rig. These bobbers, great bobbers. I can actually use this. When the bobber's not on there, I can just use it as a normal um, bottom rig. Carolina, standard Carolina rig with the... But now, since these new bobbers that Chris Flores came up with with hook sitter, I can use the sinker slide right on the line where normally I would have my sinker I can actually. We got fish. I got fish. Oh, he's got a fish on. Oh, pop back up. Oh, nope, he's no, still there. Oh, geez. Did you miss it because of me? Yes. Possibly. Possibly because of me. He just missed it. Tanner Bress, how late are you gonna fish? Dark. Uh, we don't know yet. 
How did you do up in Canada? We got we got about 150 fish, you guys, in three days of fishing. Um, we probably got 70, 80 fish over 20 pounds, channel cats. So the first day we were in Canada, we almost we almost caught 100 fish. 62 of them were over Master Angler, which is 34 or 35 inches in Canada. I don't remember which one. So we got a ton of big fish, probably right around the 2,000 pound mark in three days. It was a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. 17 to 18 pound average channel cats up in Selkirk, Lockport, Manitoba. It's pretty awesome. So we had a really, really good trip. We got some really good footage coming out. Northwoods angling. I'm excited. It should be really good. Update on the charity stream, Whisker Sticks, nothing yet. I will have an update soon though. I'm just waiting for my bobber to go under. You guys all tangled up there. They're tangled up, no big deal. But the fish are biting. Danny Cal, Danny Calderone on YouTube. What's going on, Danny? You ever use Whisker Secret Night Stalker bobbers? I have not. I have my my uh, my Chris Flores edition bobbers from Hook Setter. I love that bobber. If you're gonna, if you're if you're looking for a bobber that you can easily take off and put on, it's definitely a bobber you want to use. YouTube all the way. I do like YouTube sometimes. I'd like to come with you next season to wear. I'm actually eager to try Whisker Seeker lights. They compare to mine. My dad misses then gets tangled. Wow. <laughs> Catch them biters. We're going to get them. I'm not really paying a whole lot of attention. I should probably, probably going to throw mine on the little deeper side of the boat. But I was showing you guys how I hooked my bobber. We got interrupted by a fish. But, oh geez. Uh, we'll just forget about that. So you pretty much hook that bobber right on the sinker slide and then you're good to go. Pool tube float. That's pretty much, yeah, this is, it's a little different material than the, the pools. Actually, these might be pretty similar, but you can see it's got a, a bar that goes across and this goes right on your sinker slide and you can put the glow sticks right on the top and they're reasonably priced good bobbers it's just a little big for what we're using it for today otherwise all my live bait stuff and I, when I use big cut bait um, up in Canada when we were catching channel cats I was using that bobber and it was great <laughs> made my own version of them no that you can there's videos out there if you guys want to make your own but they're so cheap and they work so good I'm trying to Real in here. Kind of a struggle. I'm casting out deeper. I'm just using chicken liver here. Right here. Real nice chunk of the chicken liver. Let me throw this out there. Where are you at? Alright. I'm gonna go outside of here. Right out there, huh? That should be good. Let it go. So, I'm open spooling. Jason's text spooling right now. Really social media himself up there. He's really gets after it on the social media. So we've been out here for a few hours. We've got on quite a few fish. And uh, now we're just, the bobbers are floating. Mine's maybe not floating. Mine might not be suspended. But there are fish in the river and we are catching them. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing the stream. Much appreciated. So when you're bobber fishing, it's really complicated. Throw the bobber out and you wait for the bobber to go under. Then you set the hook. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. I've mostly just been watching Darren here. Not to mention he's drinking his pure leaf. It's probably why he's catching so many fish. I haven't had one in a while. It's probably why I'm not catching them. Do you fish at Grindstone in Canada? Did you fish at Grindstone? Nope. 
I did not fish at Grindstone. I fished the Lockport Dam down to Selkirk, the Selkirk City Park. We are camping out in Selkirk. Uh, Jacob's on a really special trip right now, guys, filming down south. Um, and then, what's next? Uh, there's another YouTuber flying out here next month from Tennessee, and we're going to do some musky stuff. We're going to do some lake sturgeon stuff. So it should be really fun. Now, if I could hook up on a fish here and have someone film me, it'd be a good day. But there has been two fish caught on stream, guys. That's something new for Northwoods here on live stream. Usually I'm live streaming, and it's a pretty big struggle bus sometimes, but we get after them. How's everything up there, Jason? Mm-hmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's good. He's real good. Fish are here, guys. Think so? Get a little deeper water. Curious to see how... Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. Nothing on your bobber there. <laughs> Look, your bobber's up. It's up? <laughs> Shoot. He almost got me, but then he didn't. Damn. Anyone else out fishing today? And also, congrats to everyone that was at the uh, River, Mississippi River Monsters Tournament in Memphis. Looked like you guys had a blast out there. It looked like it was a blast. I want to see the triple. Dwayne Botcher, what's going on? It is a beautiful, beautiful day out here, guys. It really doesn't get any better. I'm wearing shorts. They're wearing jeans. And uh, it was a little chilly coming out here earlier today. It was a little, little chilly. So we're just, we're just throwing the bobbers out here right on this. We're kind of on the front side of a hole right now. And the water around us is about six feet deep. There's about a 10 foot little hole here. There's a lot of rocks in this area. And the fish are actually hold. Oh shoot. Except that's me. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was my bobber. That's what happens when you have matching bobbers. He's hooked up. A little bigger, fish. bigger than the last one. Yeah, that's good. A little bigger. And they do get even bigger than this. You know, I should have had a different color bobber, but big struggle. He's just showing me up. Walleye guy, I think they know everything. <laughs> How's she look? Oh yeah. Gutted it and everything. Yeah, I probably need a tool. Players, do we have a... Oh yeah. How deep is she? Do we need a cutting tool? So that's the size, there's a lot of those size. Is that your PB Chan? Jason? No. No? Today. That is not his PB, guys. Jason catches a lot of big fish. He just doesn't catfish. I heard if you put your thumb in their mouth and get them mad, it feels really good. <laughs> oh, that's a nice. Nice fish. little, that'd be a good eater if we were eating them today, guys. We might take a little eating to them, maybe a little when the water gets a little colder. Um, how do you feel about that? Let's do a post interview of you, that monster. <laughs> I feel really good. That's good. I like setting hooks. Yep. He uh, a lot. I, he asked me. He said, "How hard?" He said, "How hard can I set the hook on these fish?" I said, "As hard as you want." <laughs> the hooks that we're using are made to set. So, you need another hook. Speaking of that, I need one. You want another one of those or you want a circle? You want one you can set? Yeah, so let's see. All right. I'll grab one. Just give me one second. All right. Three fish live stream. Putting the smack down on them, guys. Putting the smack sandwiches right there. Speaking of sandwiches, I'm getting a little I'm getting a little hungry. Thank you for all the new subscribers, you guys. Northwoods Angling. Typically we're not on YouTube on live, but 
we haven't put a video out in a little while. We got two videos from Canada. Two videos coming from Canada. 10 pound cannonball, not happening. I need a way bigger fish. If I get a 35 inch channel cat, personally, I will cannonball in this river today. Nice. All right, you got my word. And he caught one a few days ago. So they're in here, Davis, they are in here. Rid0486, what's up Luke? Love the show, thank you very much guys. Perfect, I was gonna say, maybe move me out a little bit. He's moving my bobber for me so I don't have to. Thank you all for all the new subscribers, I appreciate it. And thank you for, uh, let's try to see what, let's see what Jason's doing here, Mr. Rylander. Tied up a new hook. Oh, little kale hook. No, I need some chicken. That's a kale hook. That's fancy. How big of a piece you want here? The biggest. All right, we'll get you a little bigger. I don't know why I'm doing this when I'm holding my phone. It's a bad choice. Just a little chicken liver, guys. A little salmonella. Catfish really like it. Luke, did you want to throw a uh, shout out to your bait shop today? Uh, yeah, I will do that, actually. So this bait, is this, can this towel get dirty? Yes, absolutely. All right. So I got a shout out to, uh, I got a shout out to my bait shop, or the bait shop we went to, to get this bait today. Cub Foods, a $1.79 for one pack of chicken livers. You know, it really doesn't get any better than that for premium quality baits here in Minnesota chicken liver if you want to catch eater sized fish chicken livers cub foods bait new bait shop in town they're all over the state real good hey luke k and k outdoors what's going on welcome to the stream thank you for all the new subscribers this has been a good stream so far we've caught three fish now maybe four three fish on stream we're bobber fishing for for channel cats Got a few good hook sets on stream. Jason Rylander, known in Minnesota to have one of the top hook sets in the state. He, he holds hook set trophy from 2014 and 2012. And he's gonna, he's gonna keep that, keep the rain going here. Junior state champion in 1997. 97 oh. junior champion for hook setting. He's really, really good at it. And this is one of the spots where it works. I mean, topwater bass, probably the best place to get really get that hook set. But channel cat fishing on the horseshoe chain, central Minnesota is what we're doing today. And my bobber's about to go under. I mean, <laughs> it's only destined. It's only time, matter of time before it happens. His bobber's probably going to go under. I'm probably going to grab my rod thinking it's his again. Country girl cat fishing. What? is going on and good evening yourself <laughs> bass dude he's a walleye guy yeah he's a walleye he's a guide he catches a lot of really big walleye in northern minnesota he he guides where i'm from right around that area and um that's what he does he's a walleye guy he probably has a sparkly boat do you have a sparkly no, boat? No, I don't have a sparkly boat. It's no sparkles. And I'm in a walleye boat right now, guys. 75 horse tiller. And he's got the, I'll show you the graph set up here, guys. How about this here? We got side by side. Um, this one, side imaging. No, it doesn't. Down. There's, no, just down. Just down. Got the map down, 2D here. And you can see, you can tell how good it is because the way it is <laughs> and it's just a little river it's a chain of lakes you guys and it is over abundance of channel catfish um, a lot of the local people here don't like these catfish in here because it is a good walleye lake but the, the channel cats have really taken over this lake and there are lots and lots and lots of them in this lake so we decided to do a service to the community, come out here, fish for channel cats, you know, and, you know, really get after it. That's what we're doing. Any of you guys down in Memphis this weekend or what? Fishing the Mississippi River Monster Tournament in Memphis. 
at the pyramid. We, the next tournament Northwoods Angling is going to is in Alabama. Right around New Year's, we're gonna go fish winter blues on Wheeler. Wheeler Lake, Joe Wheeler. It's gonna be a good time. We are, will be in the bottom dwellers tackle boat with Mr. David Ashby. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be suspending some baits, do a little pulling, a little dragging, a little drifting, some planer board action. Be a good time to be using Muddy River Catfish chicken liver chum bait. Yeah, I'd, I'd use it right now. <laughs> so we got a couple fish on stream. I'd like to get one on my rod, but my bobber just doesn't want to seem to go under. That's pretty much how it goes. It's pretty much what happens when I fish. So I just want to see it go under the water. But you can only control what you can control, so. You can only control what you can control. It's a struggle. I need to crack a pure leaf. You're probably right, actually. Let me get one. Want some help? Yeah, Jason's gonna be my pure leaf assistant today. It's gonna be right under, there it is. The oh, you guys. Yeah, give me the old man one, I need one, thanks. So if you're ever wondering, why isn't Luke's bobber going down? Why isn't he good at fishing? Why is everyone around him always out fishing him? That happens until I drink one of these guys. One pure leaf, you're on top of the world. Watch. I'll take a drink, watch my bobber. We'll just keep an eye on it. I'm not gonna show you guys, but trust me. Use a smaller hook and bobber, that's not the problem, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> we have chicken liver on a hook. It either gets bit, or it doesn't get bit. We're not using very big hooks. My hook is really small. <sighs> That's good. Are any of you guys gonna be uh, fishing winter blues? Luke, I don't know how you don't lose phones over the boat when you get a fish on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Tony Reese. I have my phone, it's on a, I'm not holding my phone itself. It's on a, um, it's on like a little thing with a handle today. Oh, my bobber's still up, guys. Matter of time, matter of time. Let me do some cleaning up here. One second, guys. What? All right. We're good. <laughs> as, as great as that sounds, <laughs> I took that off there real quick. You can't really control the, they have a new feature for controlling your chat on here, but I can't, and I don't know how it works. So I, I don't know if I'd have to prove like every single thing that pops up. So I just go through when I see them, if I see them, I just hit the smack the delete button, the block button, and it'll automatically delete the messages that from that human being. And some people have no regard for censorship. And we're all about the censorship, guys. PC, <laughs> tell you about that. How's that, every? Is that why you said I can't swear? Yes. Okay. No um, profanity. Always a moron out there, you're dang right. Someone's always trying to get push the buttons. Great Island on Horseshoe, Goat Island on Horseshoe Lake, west side. Horseshoe Lake, which one's hor Oh, hello. There's a fish. Fish on! He was so quick, I hardly got the hook set, but I got it. I might grab his rod next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm striking out. So it must be a huge one, huh? Monster. True <laughs> river monster. Right? True horseshoe river monster. Oh, jeez, look at that. That stink bait reeks. Woo. I like it. We're going to have to hold that one as close to the camera as we can to make it look big when you get her unhooked. We'll really push it up to the camera. So there's a lot 
a lot of those fish. You can come out here, realistically, if you find a nice school of fish, you can catch up to 100 fish a day. He's got soft hands from sitting at his desk, so he needs a pliers. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you're in there. It's in there. Is that what you normally run are the kales? No, I got circle on my Here, put that out here. Let's see what we got. Nice, beautiful golden. That that's actually a hybrid musky. Very, very rare. Oh look at the whisker. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a sick picture. I wish that was a picture. Only a face Dang, can move. that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Rylander, how's your bite going along? So Rylander's a huge fan of hand fishing with his rod. <laughs> he's a, <laughs> so he sits up here. And it's he's my just, tactic. <laughs> Usually I'm sitting. Let's not kid ourselves. So he'll sit there with his Shimano Crocs on, pos, imposter Crocs, and he'll he'll hand just, feed it. Feed. He's really delicate. Well, with, you got to get the drift right. Really delicate with his hands. And he just slowly feeds line up. That walleye finesse. It's a walleye thing, it's a, guys. It's a finesse thing. It's a finesse fishing. And walleye are like the kids of Edina. They're just kind of, they sometimes don't want to do it, sometimes want to eat. Sometimes they like green, sometimes they like red. But what do they always like? Blue. Blue. <laughs> they always like blue. <laughs> I have those fake crocs and I love them, he says. Yeah, they're good. Good crocs. Mine still hasn't got hit, guys. We got teams now. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm, I'm sick of watching my friends catch all the fish. We're, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need to figure this out. Where's your bobber? Oh, back here. I'm doing something wrong, guys. My bail is closed and it's not drift, drifting. That might be the problem. I think Darren's just trying to get one over on me. <laughs> oh. All right. Maybe time to recast. Well, Darren just recasting me. I'm right in the zone. I mean, there, I'll show you guys what we're dealing with here. And you can see my bobber, Jason's bobber, and there is um, Darren's bobber. I mean, we're all in the zone. We're all just floating back here. Everything's drifting. Once in a while, the, bob the bobber will just go underwater. And then it's party time. Thank you guys for all the new subscribers. This is a very, very exciting stream here. In central Minnesota big big channel cats on bobbers and that's what we're out here to do and there are big there's there's a lot of those size fish two three four pound channel cats in this body of water and there's a ton of them the limit is actually 10 on this body of water I believe isn't it Darren it is. um, the rest of the state is not nearly that many channel cats but you can keep 10 of them on this river on this lake uh, chain of lakes the horseshoe chain near Cold Spring Minnesota you can actually keep 10 of them. So, with that said, people want some of them out of here. I'm not sure how much it's gonna make a difference, but it may. You ever use cherry chicken? Got any night crawlers? Terry Atkins, what's going on, Terry? Cherry chicken? Are you saying like, uh, you got a fish going? Nope. You're getting me excited, making all that quick noise. Um, cherry chicken, Pete Shull? Throwing up a 10 spot on the Super Chat. Pete, sorry I couldn't come down and visit, visit with you the other night, but I appreciate the 10 spot very much. We appreciate that. Very much so. And I, thank you. Thanks, Pete. Big struggle, guys. We got, what, four fish on video now? I think we got four fish so far, guys. Pete is a good dude. Never met him in person, but I will. One day. We don't live far from each other. Thank you for all the thumbs up on the stream, you guys. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for all the, the new subscribers here. Um, the next episode that comes out, in case you guys are wondering, um, keep up the great work. Hopefully you see some musky action coming. You will. 
you guys will see some musky stuff coming up. You're going to see some really big lake sturgeon stuff coming up. You're going to see a video from Alabama when we go fish Wheeler Lake. Um, the Red River, Lockport, the Channel Cats, and Manitoba. We'll have two episodes coming out of Channel Cats, guys. So stay tuned for that. Well, that's something to look forward to. We got a whole fall action-packed episodes coming out on Northwoods. And if you haven't gone to our channel to check our, our full production shows out, we do more than just these live streams. It's usually just me live streaming, either with the other guys from Northwoods or with my walleye fishing friends like this. Um, Flat State Outdoorsman, sub to me. I will check out your channel, but unfortunately, after this stream, these comments will be gone. So if you do want me to check out your channel, and if you want to watch more live streams, I do live stream more on Facebook. I only do this every other week for the most part on YouTube. And then we have a production show that we do every other week in between that. So Thursdays are typically our upload days on YouTube. And we have full production shows. We fish for Alligator Gar, White Sturgeon in Idaho, Alligator Gar in Texas, Blue Cats in Virginia, Blue Cats in Alabama. Um, we do sturgeon up in Canada, channel cats up in Canada. Um, we go all over the country to fish and, and we do full records. We do audio, video, 4K video. We got drones. We pretty much try to do it all. And we have a lot of fun doing it. And this is what I do when we're not making videos. But there is a video being made as we speak down south. Jacob is down south with... Tomcat, our rod sponsor, they're filming the show. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a real exciting one. You guys are going to love that. Uh, where are we at? Hey, do you know Abel Hansen and Matt Hansen? Abel is my best friend. I know Matt very well. I have met his son, I believe, when he was very, very little. So welcome to the stream, MN Angling. Welcome to the stream. You know, Matt and Abel are supposed to come out here and fish sometime soon. So hopefully that happens. What's going on, Luke? Any luck? What do you have rigged up? We're just running slip floats, guys. We're, we're fishing about nine feet down right now. We're fishing for channel cats on this chain of lakes here in central Minnesota. The horseshoe chain near Cold Spring, Minnesota. If you guys ever want to get on a whole bunch of channel cats, especially in the winter, and even all year you can catch them, uh, they move around. Last week, Darren was out. They got 40 channel cats in about four and a half hours of fishing. Really good fishing and they were in a different spot of the river. Um, Jason, the walleye guy said, you know, I would probably fish the edge of those rocks if I was a walleye guy, you know? And so we had a little intuition from the walleye guy and Darren, we all put our heads together. May or may not have talked to a guy that lives out here. We're not really <laughs> sure. But he told us if you want to go catch them right now, they've actually moved out of those holes in the, from the flats to these rock piles. Well, here we are. Fish. Give it to her. Oh, ho, fish on! And here's the rock piles. <laughs> and it has been uh, one fish every five, ten minutes. And you just these monster toads of chans. Oh, he's really working it. He is really, really real. It's probably, yeah, 25 pound fish. They won't know how big it is, so we can just make that up. Oh jeez! Oh yeah, nice little Chan. We got a crispy, clear video today. Another perfect eater Chan, guys. If you guys want to come out and catch a whole bunch of Chans like this, and once in a while you'll get a mixture of a 10, 15, or close to 20 pound cat. I mean, they are in here, and there is a lot. Let's hold that up. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, good little eater. Looks great. Let's get that front whisker shot again. Oh, it's such a sick shot. That's cool. <laughs> that there was a 20 pound fish, guys. That's what a 20 pound channel looks like. If you guys really want it, Carlos Diaz, what's going on? Officer Diaz, welcome to the stream. I'm coming to Arizona. Maybe this winter, Carlos. I'd love to come there when it's really cold. I'm gonna fly out there this winter. You got my word on it. I'll take a weekend. I'll just come for a weekend. We'll play video games like we usually do in the winter. And uh, we'll go fishing on the Colorado River. Oh, I'm crashing at your house. You're dang right I am. 
They have catfish in Arizona. Yeah, they got they got good catfish in Arizona. Carlos just doesn't, he's not a fisherman, but I'm gonna get him to be one. You guys need to try cherry chicken, chicken breast with cherry Kool-Aid powder. It's magic for those channels. Ryan Car Ryan Cantor, I will try that on the next trip. I actually had cherry hot dogs that I forgot to bring. They've actually probably would have worked out here, but I will do cherry. I'll buy some chicken breast. I'll, I'll marinate them in some cherry Kool-Aid. We're gonna get real fancy next time. It's true. It's gonna happen. <laughs> they don't know how big it is. <laughs> they just make it up. Yeah, that didn't look close to 20 pounds. <laughs> Nightcrawler dipped in stink bait is good bait for channel cats. Works for me. I would imagine that it would work really well. Stink bait's good. Stink bait's not quite as productive up north as it is down south, but it is good. I've had days when I take kids out for the kids catfish derby for the, for the county I live in. Um, stink bait was about the only thing we were catching channel cats on. We actually got like a 34 inch channel cat or 29 inch channel cat on stink bait, so they'll eat it. But I will try that cherry chicken next time. Cherry Kool-Aid. The live stream is entertaining. M and angling, I appreciate. Can you can come with them when they come? They will probably stay at my house. Stay at your house in the cities? We'll have to talk about it. You should try fishing the Mississippi north of Riverton, Minnesota. The catfishing's good. Where's Riverton? I don't know where Riverton is. Not a clue. Not a clue. If anyone wants to do some winter Ohio River bank fishing Cincinnati, let me know. Thanks, Luke, for coming to the party. It was a good time. Blake? Blake's a member of Northwoods Angling. He had a block party. He has it every year. They have smoked pork, bunch of good treats, chips, salsa, guacamole, a fire. Sometimes they have a live band every year. This year they didn't, but it was still a blast. I got to see a lot of the catfishing guys and meet some people I've never met. So thank you to you and your wife, Blake. So tell your wife, I didn't think I got, I don't think I got to talk to your wife uh, before I left. So tell her thank you also. Riverton is, where's that? Brainerd. North of Brainerd. Wow. North of Brainerd. Channel Cats. Definitely not Flatheads, but that sounds, I'd like to try that sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I was meaning, can I come with Matt and Abel and we will come to fish with you because they would probably be staying at my house. So they're going to be staying at your house when they come to the cities? I'm confused. You'll have to talk to Bat. Where's the video of you catching leopard frogs? <laughs> There's no video. We're not doing a video of me catching frogs. You guys want to see something funny, watch a guy my size running around, crawling on the ground, catching leopard frogs. That's entertaining, let me tell you. Thank you all for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Not much better than good barbecue, you're dang right. So Blake made the smoker, like Blake makes rod racks, he makes anchors, he makes wood grabbers for fires. Blake's pretty much, he's an engineer, and engineers make stuff. And he's good at welding, so he can pretty much make anything. Blake makes things, and they turn out really good. My anchors, my rod racks, not mine, I lied. Mine's aluminum, he welds steel. He's cold, cold steel. Any more bobbers go under yet? So if any of you guys want to watch any of my Facebook Live stuff, or if you want to, how do people find your guide service? North Country Guide Service. North Country Guide Service. If he was in the stream, he could actually link his Facebook guide service on there, but he's not, so. I'll maybe put it in there afterwards and pin it to the top. North Country Guide Service. Specializing in walleye. Walleye panfish, pike. Walleye? Wild edibles. Wild, yeah? Yeah. Wild yeah. edibles, if you guys are down for the shroom, the edible ones, like morels and uh, um, lobster oysters. mushrooms. Oysters. Oysters. Chicken of the woods. Chicken of the woods, he does, they do wild edibles, walleye, pike, and panfish up in Bemidji, Minnesota. So if you're, if you're curious where that is, it's if you find the beginning of the Mississippi River and you go about 30 miles northeast of there, right? Yeah. Right up there, the heart of the beautiful part of Minnesota, where I'm from. 
fish on? I'm so sick of watching you catch oh, fish. Yeah. And he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> About time you missed one. Miss? You ain't doing that no more. Wow. He's getting pretty cocky though back there. Back that way. You think so? Are they, they all coming from way back? Yeah, they're all coming from way back. So all the fish are coming from way back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reel in. And since we're not anchored, you guys, we are in current. But we are not anchored. I'm gonna kind of show you guys what we're doing here for an anchor. That there is the anchor to our team. <laughs> yeah, I am an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> <Dang right. laughs> so that's our anchor, guys. It's a uh, Minn Kota Tarova. So it's on spot lock right now. So he just, it'll actually work itself. So it's turning and turning on and turning off. And it'll just hold you in one GPS location. So we don't have to anchor we don't have to anchor <laughs> uh, MN is so beautiful I love Minnesota he swings and he misses a swing and a miss <laughs> so this is a how big is this boat this is a 17 foot Lund Pike isn't it Lund Angler that's right Lund Angler super wide beam and it's got a lot of, this would actually be a really good catfishing boat if it had a rod rack and some more uh, be hard, for sale next spring. and some more hardcore rod holders in there. Yeah. You get one Canada Channel Cat on one of those, that rod holder is snapping off because they're beefy up there. <laughs> so he's got a controller, he's just moving us around. We're going to move further back, back into the hole, you guys. All the fish are coming from further back. Darren short threw my bait out because he knew I wasn't going to catch one there. <laughs> and if you guys want to watch, he, uh, nah, I better not go there. I was going to talk about being the master at baiting, but I'm going to hold that oh, off. Of, hold that there off. Of. He's already the master of casting. You told me I couldn't swear. We're not I doing it. There. We're not, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Went out on the Great Miami, caught a few small flats, then did a stream a few days later and no good. <laughs> Dude, that's my luck. I'll crush, and then I'll stream thinking I'm gonna do really good, and then I don't crush. Story of my life, Terry. Story of my life. The cat must have been a right fielder. <laughs> Runs through Hamilton and Middletown. Sounds nice. Gonna head hard, gonna need hardcore rod holders. Oh, only the hardest. Half inch steel, rubber coated, drift masters. From bottom dwellers tackle that's where i buy all, pretty much all of my stuff that bait might need a little refreshing huh there darren she's looking a little raw looking a little rough so we're just shifting the boat around we have now shifted further back into the hole here and this is where the fish are going to be i'm going to steal your spot for a little bit if that's okay someone's flying around the corner here Oh, that's a, hopefully, they, yep, they're slowing down. It's a fast boat. That's a musky boat. Do you guys want to see it? It's a, that's a warrior. Beautiful boat. He was hauling some pretty good speed coming around that corner, but he saw us. And this wake is not small. <laughs> oh my God. Hang on. <laughs> oh, geez. Wow. He really <laughs> He sure threw a good wake there. All right. Where are we at? <laughs> Thank you guys for all the new subscribers. I think I've been on how long now? 49 minutes. I think I've been on long enough. You guys got to see a few fish caught. If you have any questions about bobber fishing channel cats, I'm not an expert at it. Ask Jason, North Country Guide Service. I'm pretty much a pro now. He's, he's caught a few, so, you know, walleye guys, when they get it dialed in, they get it dialed in. I like to call it program. He's got it programmed. It's a program. We got a good program going he's right He's got now. it figured out. Do you ever want, do you ever get wakeboarding boat come to you? It's super annoying. Oh, we get, 
we I seen some stuff. You you haven't seen anything until you come out to the St. Croix River when the the pleasure boats are out there all day long. But I think I'm going to end this stream, guys. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for everyone for giving this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit. Slip Bobber, Channel Cats. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to take a little break here. I'm going to eat. And I might be live a little later on Facebook. Carlos, thanks for tuning in. Farron, thank you for tuning in. James Dockery, thank you. Everyone have a wonderful evening. Stay classy. And uh, enjoy your day. Stay tuned for some new episodes coming up. They're going to be spectacular. Ooh, have a good one. Bye-bye now.